Hey everybody, good morning. My name is Kendra and today I'm just going to do kind of a day in the life. I've got so much going on right now. I wanted to show you the grass. Um, I should have done it before and after. was totally like straw, the color of straw. What grass there is. There's a lot here going on and there's no way we can water it. I mean, space wise and stuff. And But we do cut the grass, try to keep, you know, weeds and dandelions and things like that from taking over. Anyway, why did it Oh yeah, it rained and rained and rained. Monsoon rained last night. And I'm going to show you a clip of that. And then um, this is what it is today. And I'm just starting to see, you probably can't, little blue spots. They said it was going to stop raining this afternoon and that the sun was going to come out. But things are still very wet. I'm going to light this candle. I have been hiding it, and it's time. <laughs> so I got it at Safeway, and it says that it is, where is that? How about, if I turn it the right way, I don't know, it's pumpkin spice. <laughs> and I don't usually get my candles at Safeway, but I was sniffing candles, like, I don't know, a month ago maybe. Here we go. I can't read it. I'm, I need to put my glasses down. I think it says Foundry, Crafted by Foundry, Pumpkin Spice. What does that say? Soy. Mm. All right. It's so good. I hope it smells as good lit as it does unlit. Oh, it's just heavenly. Wonderful, wonderful, and I cannot wait to start this. I've been just saving and saying, come on, you want a light for me, darling? There. And I I don't remember buying a soy candle before. I uh, I hope they last as long as typical candles. There you have it. I'll let you know later how it smells. I have a glut of um, croissant rolls. And these aren't even the ones that I got yesterday. These are the ones that I thought I saw mustard on my hand. These are the ones that were left from the Costco run. So... They need to get gone, and I'm having my regular mineral water with it. I've already had my coffee, and um, so paperwork. I have, this is what I do. I write notes, and then I transfer the notes if I think of it, and this is, let me show you, this is my meal planner, and in the back it's got event planning and things like that, and I just love it. And so I'm doing my Saturday, we're having our annual autumn gathering here. And it's going to be a brunch this year. Typically, it's more of a lunch. And so I'm going to do some breakfast stuff. And I'm filling out the work for that right now. I better get some better lighting in here. I haven't showed my meal planner in a long time, so here this is. It's a uh, eat, drink, and uh, be merry, it says. <laughs> and it's laminated, and it's got the thing so it lays flat, and I just really like it. So here we've got um, this week. I hope you guys can see it okay. Let me move my ring light a little bit closer. Might help. So, oh, this has got a side for grocery lists, and it's perforated so you can tear it out, but I don't ever do that. What I do is I put down ideas like what I want to make for desserts in the coming weeks or just stuff like that. So anyway, I don't remember what I made on Sunday. I'm doing this right now, and I, I should have done it before. So I know on Monday I made the better, the butternut ravioli, you know, fettuccine, broccoli with apple chicken sausage and it all came from Costco, except the broccoli, which came from my freezer. Um, then uh, the Tuesday the 10th, that was yesterday, and I did hamburgers, french fries, and you know, all the veggies of tomatoes, pickles, lettuce, onions, that kind of thing. And then tonight it's going to be leftovers because we have some leftover things that I need to clear out and I need to clean out because we've got a thing coming up. And then Thursday nights have become fast food Thursdays here. That is just all the kids that live here are adults and they do their own thing. I don't care if it's fast food or the corner gas station, but I'm not making dinner on Thursdays anymore. And I mean that in a loving way. 
Anyway, then uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night, a uh, Friday night, the 13th, we have a Friday the 13th coming up. We're going to have buffalo chicken wraps, which has been being requested, and fresh fruit, depending on what we have, fresh fruit. There is a very cold breeze coming from somewhere. That's scary. Um, and then Saturday's the autumn uh, gathering, family brunch, and they'll have leftovers of whatever I don't send home with people for that. And I'll show you the uh, brunch thing. Okay, so that's that for the week. I went and checked and I couldn't find anything. It was just a cold breeze because that happens sometimes this time of year. I'm, I'm going to tell myself that. Okay, so here in the back it's got places for you to do gatherings. So I've got in this gathering, it's our 2023 family brunch, and I put autumn and the date that it's going to happen. And again, I don't use this for a grocery list, but I've got some things here that I want to make to, you know, hand out as they leave. <laughs> One time I said, it was a long day, and everybody was still here. And I said to the little kids, who wants candy? And I, I started setting out the go bags. And the mom and dads are like, okay. <laughs> anyway, appetizers. I'm going to do like the, char the charcuter charcuterie board. Sorry, charcuterie board. The one I just got over at, uh, co at uh, Costco. I'm going to put that out on the center island bar thing here. And I'm going to put things on it, like cheese and nuts, mini cinnamon rolls, not full size. And I'm going to get them from a bakery. I'm not making them because I'm not going to do all of this by myself. You know, it's just, I'm going to make a bunch of de deviled eggs and put them on there, some sliced salami. And then um, lots of fruit, like, where did I put fruit? I don't know. I guess I just put them on my grocery list. But I'm going to put it grapes and sliced oranges and um oh honeydew i try to do something of every color you know something like roy g biv red strawberries oranges yellow something usually pineapple i guess i can't remember but you know go on and on like that and make it look pretty especially when it's a spring gathering i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for fruit i know i'm gonna do grapes and i know i'm gonna do oranges because those are popular anyway and then for side dishes, I'm going to do the biscuits, the croissants, and crock pot macaroni and cheese. Just a little crock pot, you know, I think. And then breakfast casserole is going to be one of the main things, along with the crock pot macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to put uh, mini pancakes and fruit on picks and put them on the same board with these. Or I'm going to put the mini pancakes in a crock pot to keep them warm. I'm just not sure. Anyway, I'm going to make a, bake, a bunch of bacon and sausage, too, to put on the board that they can just help themselves. I'll do donut holes, which I will buy, and I said the cinnamon minis um, that I'll also buy. I hope I can find something like, you know, pumpkin or apple cider donut holes, and same with the cinnamon rolls. For drinks, we've got sodas, apple cider, coffee or tea, regular milk, or chocolate. And is that it? That's good enough. And so that's that. Oh, here. Things I need to make sure I have are the picks for things. And then I've got these autumn spreader knives that I like to use. And little fryer uh, pans that are made out of crockery that I'll put things in to try to decorate the board. And then I got a bag of these balls of butter. They're actual round balls of butter. Like you would get a family pancake house on top of your pancakes. And they came in a bag and they were on sale at um, grocery outlets, a discount store. Oh, and I'm going to get regular syrup, um, just like Mrs. Butterworth's or whatever. Whatever doesn't say high fructose corn syrup because they're going to get enough of that. Grocery list, grapes, oranges, blueberries, celery, carrots, honeydew, and strawberries. I want these all fresh. I'm going to the grocery store on Thursday tomorrow for the Saturday, Friday. So it'll be fine, right? I don't know. I don't want to go. Maybe if I go first thing in the morning on Friday. I'm just not sure yet. Then I want to get some bacon, some sausage, the donut holes, the mini cinnamon rolls, more chocolate milk, some apple cider, some disposable go containers, 
and coleslaw mini pancakes and that syrup and I need to also go to the post office and the bank. One of the grandkids is having a birthday that day and it's my eldest, my firstborn grandbaby and he is going to be 20. So he got the day off of work. He typically works Saturday but he'll have the day off. I'm happy. I'm happy for him. <laughs> I'm not happy that I have a 20 year old grandson though. I can't help that. That's just the way it goes. Um, it's my daughter's fault. <laughs> I think I'm going to let you go because this has been a lot just of me yabbering on. I'm going to go over there and wash some fruit that's not for the event but for the family. It's the grapes I got yesterday and put them in a container so that, you know, they can uh, have it right out of hand and, and see it and eat it up. If you hung around this long, I hope you'll consider subscribing, making a comment, giving me a thumbs up. I'd like to get to know you, and I, of course, I love chatting with people that are already subscribed and chat every day. It's so much fun to have gotten to know so many new people. I'm just going to wash these up and put them in a container, like I said, for the fridge. Some... <laughs> my husband picked, I think I've said this before, my husband picked up this baking soda for me. And he got it at a discount store, and it, it's kind of a, a brick on the inside. <laughs> and it's perfectly fine to use, obviously, but it's not easy to shake out with one hand. I'm going to let these soak for a minute, and then I'm just going to swirl them around, rinse them, and put them in a container. Give them a swirl first, and then a shake. Of these XOXO or whatever they're called. And when that stops, I'll just let it set for a minute. I'm taking these out of the plastic container, mushrooms, because they just don't last very long in the container. And I think the best way to store them in your fridge is to put them in a lunch sack, a paper bag, and um, roll it up. Don't wash them or anything. Don't slice them up. Just leave them whole until you're ready to use them. They'll stay fresh longer that way. Okay, I got asparagus next. I'm going to cut off the bottoms, snap off the bottoms, and then I'm going to rinse them down, and then I'm going to put them in a container with water, you know, stand them up like flowers. And I'm going to roast these tonight, even though it's left overnight. I don't want these to last any longer in the fridge. They're best when they're fresh. Give them a little rinse here. Come on. let those stop on their own and then rinse them one more time and it'll be good. Okay these are nice and washed and I will uh, drain more water off of them and put them into this container. That's all I did. I did the grapes, the mushrooms, and the asparagus which I'm gonna go ahead and roast a little while anyway. I just realized I had carrots when I reached in there to put stuff away. I need to reach way back more often. They're not old at all. I just got them the other day. So I'm going to peel these next and put them in the refrigerator ready to go. I'll use them for the uh, lamb stew, which I did not put on the menu because I forgot the lamb stew meat was in there too. Okay, I'm going to get this ready. Well, I already washed them. I'm going to peel them. They'll be fine. I won't wash them again. I just did the carrots, now I'll do the celery. If I don't put them in a container, I wrap them in the foil. I've heard that that keeps them fresh longer, but even then, you know, the ends start to go after they've been cut. So I'm just gonna put them in one of those containers too. Can we end the burn ban now? You know, the burn ban? <laughs> We were supposed to have, you know, our pits in the yard with marshmallows or fireworks or anything all summer. <laughs> right after I announced the storm was over and we could see blue sky, not so much. <laughs> it is raining some more. It's nice out here though. It's not cold. Yeah, so that's it. That's a wrap. I hope you guys had a great time. I had a great time <laughs> watching me do pretty much nothing, but I did get the cl fridge cleaned out, and that was on my list. And, you know, the vegetables cleaned and stored properly so they won't go 
you know, to the dark side or anything. Take care, everybody. Subscribe if you have, and I'd love to get to know you. Bye-bye.